back again to another episode of Is It Good in the Free VR uh, category. <laughs> I don't have free hand movement. Oh no. Start. Uh, this is uh, the book of the book of distance. There it is. <laughs> the book of distance. Turn the page to start. Let's read a book. For you, the tra time traveler. This is a love letter to the future. I wrote this from the, for the hearts ahead of us. For the ones growing and wishing. Among them, my nephew who carries the name of my grandfather. Yon, Yonzo Okita? Nice. Is this just like, am I like looking at someone's family photos right now? My grandfather, Yonizo. I'm the kid in that one. Hello. You got a horseshoe? I don't know for what. You can throw that over to your left. Oh, okay, I see. One, two, three. Oh, uh, can I get a redo? You have to look where you're throwing. I did. Keep your eyes forward and follow through with your hand like this. You, you ain't gonna hit it. BS. You cheated. Okay. Watch this. This one's going right on it. I'm telling you right now, right on it. You can. You don't believe me? I. It's gonna happen. Ready? Ready? One, two, hand three. Okay. Uh. You you distracted me. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. This is a place I made as a way of thinking about my grandfather, my family, and our stories. That's cool. This is my dad. When I spoke to him, Hi, his dad. he said this. Well, you knew Grandpa. Like, he, he was he, he was so present by his lack of presence. <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> my grandfather was the quietest man I've ever known. He never spoke about his past. Or his life in Japan before he came to Canada. And he never spoke Japanese to me. I was young. But it almost felt like being Japanese was something to be kept quiet. He was nah. 18 when he came to Canada. Of Whoop. course, when I think about going to Japan, I think about taking an airplane. Whoop. 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 My grandfather left home as a boy. It was 1935 and he traveled by ship. It would have taken weeks. A ship. Ronnie, I, I, I think that he was 15. No, he was 18 when he came here. No, no, like he was 15. Are you sure? Uh, I would bet my life on it, but it is getting so short now it's not even worth that. Yeah. He left because he had a an older brother that had visited out here, and he was telling him about how great it was. And so, dancing, Dad, being the adventurous person that he was, decided to come out. It was the 1930s. What did a house in Hiroshima look like? Like this? I know he had siblings, brothers, and a sister named Humiko. Neat. There's a star of the world going to heck. What do I get to take a picture? Stay cheese! Guys, okay, everybody look natural, natural, and cheese. Nailed it. Beautiful picture, guys, beautiful. He was introduced to a Japanese family in Canada, and he wrote them. Am I going to write? Uh... 
Oh, hey, uh, thank you. What, what do I, what do I write? Bo I wonder how he felt exchanging letters with people so far away, um, in a place he could only imagine. Some of this, some of that. That's not a letter. I'm painting. <laughs> we send our wishes ahead of us. Okay. What do I mean by that? Oh, there we go. By letter. Eventually, from across the ocean, he received an invitation oh. to start a new life. An invitation? Better be a party. What did they learn about each other? What did they My say to each other? Born in British Columbia, was the eldest in a family of girls. 210, that's my birthday. Hey, let's go. Birthday. <laughs> oh, another thing? Or oh, ticket. <gasps> I got a ticket. I'm going to go on a boat. I'm going on a boat. Pack my passport, with you uh, some you photos, notebook, some incense, uh, some clothes, and a radio. I don't know why a radio, feel but... To leave the only home he knew for a place he could only imagine. Here, your ticket. Don't forget your ticket. Oh, and your hat. Good job, sis. Sister with the save. It was different to leave oh. home in those days. Ah. Um, if they would meet again, what did they say to each other as he left? Where'd you take it, bro? It's, uh. Good job, stage hand. Bye! Bye, guys! See you later! It's a very dark ship. Like, very dark. Like, can't see the ship dark. Bye! 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 <laughs> you always gotta do the two arm by. It makes, means more. Like, wah, bye! Whoa! Um, are we going to the abyss or are we going to Canada? Huh. I wish the time of day changed like that. It'd be nuts. What did he hope for, this young man? What did he think his future would look like? It would have been in a place not so far from here. Iceberg! Sorry, wrong ship. Just kidding, Iceberg! Like the I got you again. They first saw each other. Hi! Are you the one picking us up? Hi, ma'am. She seems nice. She waved us on. Did we just like jump in the water? No? Like. Oh, the lights moving. Careful, just take a step back. Okay. Took a step back. This place is an act of a man. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey. It's an idea. You need me to take an extra step back. You could have just Do asked. All places start like this. Not Canada. What's not Canada? I thought we were going to Canada. What happened? Welcome to Canada. Wait, what? Are we in the U.S. then? Oh, hey, me. Here, let me get the door for you. There you go. Ah, uh, my turn? Sir? Here's yours. Oh, thanks. Here you go. 
My best part. Thank you, buddy. I go in now? Yeah? Okay, I go in now. Do I just... What do I do? Do I just like... Wah. Do I actually go forward? Okay, I do. <laughs> I made it to Canada. Where am I now? A is, home begins as a story to tell each other. A shared hope. Why are we picking up rocks? I got you guys. <laughs> I think they were clearing the, the strawberry land at the time. Because I can remember them. Ah, them I helped. Lighting out tree stumps to get rid of. Uh, oh, you guys taking a picture? Stumps to clear the land. Get together, you cuties. The, uh, strawberry field. Look, you all. guys. You guys look so great together. Perfect. Wait, what? Uh, did I just capture ghosts on film? Like, is that? Why do you try to capture moments mm -hmm. to stop time? Did I just get ghosts when we're happy, proud, together. I'm not gonna be rich. I'm gonna sell that because I just caught ghosts. What I just took this here. Oh, let me grab my mallet. Oh, I wasn't done yet. What was it like to build a home for your family with your own hands? Oh, who, who did that? Is it the ghosts? Ah, sick. Nice job train the ghosts. I would have never thought of that. It's it's in. You're good. It's in. You're hitting it too far now. Yeah, look, now I can't back up. Good job. Okay, you two smile. Perfect. 10 out of 10 picture. Strawberry seeds? Strawberry seeds. Strawberry seeds. Strawberry seeds. <laughs> Strawberry seeds everywhere. How did it feel to grow crops and build a business? To have your hopes and dreams come true? It's a nice house. You know, out here in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, is that one of the ghosts working in the field? You guys are really training these ghosts well. Good job. Bravo. Oh, picture. Hey guys, Ooh, strawberries. Do you guys just chill with the ghosts? I mean, I guess you do make them work, so it's only fair. Yeah, it's nice of you. Oh, my, uh, chopsticks. I can't hold my chopsticks in one hand, can I? Where's mine? Oh, I see how it is. This is... A war had begun. It started with registration, curfews, and surveillance. They were told it was for their own safety. The vehicles were taken away. And then they were told they had to pack only what they could carry. Uh, not my fault. You can't blame it on me. What's this? Notice to all Japanese persons and persons of the Japanese person. Take notice that under order numbers 21, 22, 23, and 24 of the British Columbia Security Commission. The following air... Stop. 
doing something. The following areas were made prohibited areas to all persons of the Japanese race. Lulu Island, including Stetson's, Stetson, Stevenson, Stephiston, Sea Island, Eburn, or Eburn, Maripol, District of Queensborough, City of West Westminster or New Westminster, Sapperton, Berkeltalem, Port Moody, Aoko, Port Kukiltum, I don't know, Melilla Drill, and further take notice that any person of the Japanese race found within any of these said prohibited areas without a written permit from the British Columbia Security Commission or the Royal Canadian Mounted Police shall be liable to the penalties provided under Order in Council PC 1665. You are hereby ordered by the British Columbia Security Commission to report at Hastings Park with a bag and baggage of the first on the first day of June 1942 at 9 a.m. for the purpose of being evacuated from the protected area of British Columbia. Being sent to a work camp. Well, that sounds dangerous. Canadian born. Canadian born. Canadian born Japanese national. They're gonna dislike me because I'm a Japanese national, right? Oh hey, you're just chilling right there. Um Hey, how's it going? Uh you want this? No? Okay, bye. We were moved primarily because we were we were Japanese. Really no for no other reason. Oh I can't take my camera? What? I can't take my radio. Cameras, radios. Uh, Why weren't they allowed? I see. Government regulations, I would think. Yeah, you don't want me to take pictures of evidence, huh? Pictures of <laughs> spying and that sort of... Do uh, you think that that was a real danger? Never. Never in my wildest dreams. I mean, people come here for a good life. They hoped for a better life, and they were well on their way, trying to do that through hard work and everything else. You guys suck. Especially you. Yeah, you better look at me. Look at you. Wait, are you separating him from... The family was separated, and they were taken to different internment camps. Messed up, bruh. Hey, at least you brought the ghost with us. Well, am I not getting in there? Uh, I guess we'll stay out here. I get lost at this point sometimes. I don't know how to show this moment. Images of the camps were controlled and my grandfather refused to talk about what happened. I'm trying to find a way to see him here. To stand with him. Because most didn't. Most were able to look away. He was supposed to be like standing over here, you know. Hi, hey, Grandpa. Who gets to tell us where to stand? On one side of a line or another? Whose safety gets to be more important than another? Whose fear gets to separate families? 
Eventually, my grandfather was told that if he agreed to go to Alberta and work under supervision, that he could reunite with his family. Heck yeah, family good. Woo, reunite. It wasn't a trap, was it? Oh, hey, look, there. Hi, family. It's my family right there. Hi, guys. Yeah, hi, guys. It's really weird, there's just a whole bunch of seeds missing here. Can I open the window? Yeah, open the window. I didn't know we had this many ghosts, guys. It's a lot of ghosts. of threats or wrongdoing. There were no crimes or acts of subversion. 22,000 people were removed from their homes. They went peacefully, trusting that they would be treated fairly. And I, I must hate the joke now because this is like This is not where I expected this thing to go. Humans been humans. There are some. Because this is a dark. I believe their workers should have something reasonable to live in. Other, other treat them like it's Ooh. forced labor, and they're lucky to have a roof over their head, so they would be the equivalent of glorified, fixed-up chicken coops. I can remember uh, when we were staying in, we would hear the statue coyotes. Howling outside, and I can look through the knot holes in the siding to see them if the moon was shining right. He worked for someone else on land that he did not own. He was not allowed to possess vehicles, newspapers, radios cameras or to gather in groups with people who looked like him oh, look, a letter. eventually he wrote letters trying to learn about his situation Whoa. It's a lot of letters the responses this policy from, many, from government employees and departments created to respond to delay to erase mm -hmm. first january 1943 Department of the Secretary of State, Office of the Custodian, Japanese Evacuation Section, 12th May, 1944. Request for funds held to your credit at this office has been forwarded through the Department of We have now had a recheck of your chattels we and take this enclosed herewith a, a revised list, list which we trust you will find satisfactory. 28th December. No revenue accrued to your credit at this office in view of the fact Kindly sign and return one copy to us. 17th of November. Your house and farm have now been vacated the by the previous tenant were sent to and are going to be rented to a Mr. H. Collins as signed by you. It will be necessary for you to pay the freight on this and you should indicate your willingness to do so Legal in your application to, to the Security to Commission. Yours truly, H. F. Green, Manager, Protection Department. A dark window into, uh, you know, the history. <laughs> Eventually, after years, it must have become clear. The possessions... The heirlooms, the house, and the land had. Cool. So, yeah, because I don't want to make a joke of this because this is serious stuff. And if you don't know about this, you should look it up because it is it's a really dark window into, you know, something the U.S. and Canada, you know, the good guys did do. And the, I don't know about Canadians. Uh, which we call it education. So I don't know if they do or don't cover it in history. I know in the U S it was very sugar coated if covered at all. Cause I remember not knowing anything about it till a four minor song. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely something you should look into if you haven't, I'd say this game is like a nine out of 10 game. Like with air quotes, it's more of an experience thing, but, uh, it's something I'd recommend like, cause it's, 
good to see into the history because, as they say, if you forget history, it's bound to repeat itself. And a lot of people don't know about this side of Canada and the U.S. and the Allies and stuff like that. Now, we didn't get to the point of death camps like, uh, you know, air quote death camps with the Nazi Germany did. But our, the camps we had in the U.S. were not well kept. Again, I will not speak on anything on the Canadian side because I didn't know Canada had camps as well. Uh, but I knew the U.S. did because of research and stuff. So yeah, it was not great. They, they were not well kept and stuff. So I would recommend trying this out again. It's like, I'm forgetting the name of it. I'm forgetting the name of it. Hold up. Uh, toggle Windows. Steam. It is called The Book of Distance. Well worth, you know, I would say it's free. So something to experience. So you can kind of see like into the window, I guess. A little bit more. So, thank you, and I'll see you next video. I find the right thing. Ha <laughs> ha.